Hey everybody, I am Blind Ryan, and I'm going to be having a swatch at uh, Bonfire, which starts immediately and has no option menu to speak of. That I do not like at all. Um, so this might be a, this might be quite the, uh, this might be quite the negative review. I'm not sure, but the fact that the game just immediately starts, like before, obviously you saw. Before um, via, or before OBS could even capture the damn thing, that's no, no, that's bad. You need to at least, at least, at least give us a main menu. All right. So the best I can tell is this is an RPG. So let's see. Click to continue. I can't. I just can't pass the dim mode. Where is everyone? I won't fail them again. At least the font is readable, thank god. Ugh. I'm wasting time here. So it might have- it, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this just got off in the wrong foot. But... Oh, wow. Okay, so this is- this is basically a mobile game. That apparently is what this is. Too many. Well, it's over anyway. At least I'll go down fighting. Efren, I was... This will turn things around. We're still outnumbered, Hildy. Right, I'll cover you if things get rough. And you can count on my healing. Heroes use different abilities depending on if you click an ally, an enemy, or yourself. Yeah, this is a mobile game. And, uh... <laughs> that's going to make this extremely difficult to do accessibility things, because this wasn't meant for PCs. This was meant for phones and tablets and the like. And I have a tablet. So, I mean, this game would be good on that. But... That it's on Steam? I'm not sure how I feel. I'm actually going to look up the price right now so that I can give you a, an over-under. It is... Ooh, it is uh, $17.99. It's $18, and it's... Uh, it's it's basically a, a, a mobile game that's... I am... Ooh. <laughs> I appreciate that you guys gave me a free code, but... I'm... I'm not going to be kind to a game just because I got a free code. In fact, I'm going to be even harsher because I think that's what you guys would want. So... Outside of the marketing, the price, which I do not agree with, outside of the opener, which I think there should be a main menu so that people can change options if they need to. Like, I have no way to go to options. Escape does nothing. Looks like we get to live another day, unlike those mourn folk. Back at the Overlord's Keep, I thought we were done for. No, not even close. Good. Have you found anyone else? I've heard explosions. Maybe Zivko made it too. I think so, yeah. Anything useful in there? Let me check. Items found in chests are very powerful, but single use only. Resto potion. Why, hello there. I'll be right with you. I like the art style, for what it's worth. You had us worried, man. Me? Oh, please. I was worried about you. Save the banter for later. We need to get out of this place. Yes, to the main menu where I can change options. Yeah, about that. More folk blocked the road already. So we'll just break through. And that's why I hang out with you. It seems... Okay. God damn. <laughs> to say that this is not a game that is in my element is an understatement. As an accessibility consultant, there are some hard and fast rules that you have to go for. You have to have a main menu. You have to be able to change options. You can't just, here's the game. <laughs> you know? It, 
it doesn't, that, that can't work because there's no way for anybody to make the game playable for them. This is basically what you see is what you get. Is the game accessible? Well, if you can use a mouse, it's accessible. And if you can see the various things you're looking at, it's accessible. And granted, those things are very big and very colorful, and that's very helpful, as well as the font is very good, too. Priests, they can heal each other. Char uh, charge that magic, Zimko. Try to take him down with a single strike. My pleasure. Highlight a character's portrait to learn about their abilities. Oh, that's bad font. No, that's small. Eh, it could be worse, but I, I'd bump a point on that. to charge everything up. They want me to charge up the, uh, the mage guy. Uh, okay, so other than, other than a couple of fundamental flaws that can be fixed, like, I'm not sure about the price. I really am not sure about the price. If you like this kind of game, that's one thing, but I really am not sure about that price. So, but I mean, other than that, I mean, it's, it's a perfectly fine little clicker adventure. I guess you can kind of make of that what you will. Motivation level up, which restores health and increases stats for this quest. There we go, yeah, no chance. Good work. I worry others didn't have as much luck. We moved away from our goal, too. You two are such downers, sheesh. Let's just make a camp here. Your suicidal quest can wait a day. It's not like the world can get any worse. Does that mean we're gonna get a main menu? Hmm, I'm afraid he's right. If anyone else is around, they'll find us. Let's gather wood for a bonfire, then. We'll make it burn bright. Got them monies. Bonfire is a game about journey and failure. Wolf, you'll help us at times, but you can tailor it to your personal preference and experience in tactical RPGs. Which aspect would you like to focus on? I like this. I wish it would have started with this, but I honestly, that's what it should do. That's what it should do. It should immediately start with this menu before the story starts. That way, it would give people who use OBS, who, you know, want to record the game, time to get the display up, and it would, it would give people a chance to choose immediately what they wanted to go through. That way, you're not just thrown in fucking balls deep. So we're going to do Journey for this one. There's the options. Uh, yeah, no, that needs to not happen. The options are sound, music, full screen, difficulty, show blood, ability hints, and yeah, this is definitely a mobile game. Definitely. As for, like, honestly, this should be first. You should put this option menu first. 
Or you should like have it have a have a thing up in the top right or top left or something like that. You know, a little a little gear icon so that people can change the 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 options like that. I mean, that's an easy enough thing to add. But honestly, what I would do is as I start as you start the game before the story starts, you do the difficulty selection and then you do the option selection. That way, people can immediately immediately change the options, and they're, they'll be able to tailor the game to their, their own experience, even if there aren't that many options as yet. And this is in early access, so to be fair, they can change this. That's why I'm doing this review, is to, to, is to help them better present their game. So, okay. Quests. Bark. Ooh. You have a map of the area? I do. Where to now, Hildy? We can't stay here, that's for sure. I do not like that these things move so fast. We also need gold supplies. Anything we can scrap. And food. Don't forget the food. Another failure. New quest. Leave this accursed forest. Trail rations. New quest. Have at least 15 food and stuff. I hate that there's no volume slider. This is a loud game. As you might be able to hear. Oh, thanks. Alright, so we're gonna go here. Raid the food. Because that's what we need. But first let's check our quests. Leave the leave the for or leave the forest and have at least 15 food and stuff. So yeah, that is what we will do. We'll go here. So there we go, food. Heroes loadout done. So it got off on the wrong foot, but in and of itself, it is not a bad game. It's just not a game. I'm. It's not a genre I'm familiar with due to how um, how it is a mobile game. So we'll go after this guy first. this user gains experience if only it was always this simple One day, reward food. We'll send the blaster boy. <laughs> Don't do anything stupid without me. Rest of day. One day later. Hmm. See, I want this game to grow on me. Road to hunting ground is blocked by a mountain by the Mourn folks. Or as Zipko had to learn the hard way. May I suggest taking a day off? Huh, we have wounded and enough supplies for the night. Alright, I'll think about it. Thank you. Rest the day. The night is cold and dark. Get what we need and move out. 
Alright, let's go here. Oh, they were saying something, but I couldn't see it. Wounded heroes have their max health limited. Sturdy armor, just what we needed. It's a badger. So yeah, it's basically just click on enemies and, and be strategic and shit. I would have loved to have seen this on tablets, though. I, I'd play the fuck out of this on a tablet, to tell you the truth. I wouldn't pay 18 bucks, but that's because I'm a cheap ass, so... Ooh, this motherfucker we want to kill. Alright, let's get this guy first, because he's a tank. Charge up. Okay. Boom, we curploded him. And now we hit the knight. seem more determined to you. Mourn folk determined? Well, at least on a scale from resigned side to a full-on eh. This is dangerously close to an eh. We, go, we got near the Overlord's Keep this time. This could be a consequence. Good. If you faster they come, the quicker we can kill them. There's only three of us now, Hildy. Yeah, we can't stay in one place for too long. Yarhar, the treasure. Onk of Return. Cool, raises dead party members. Who's this big motherfucker? Oh. We can do it. Just keep your focus. It's a boss boy! Uh, click an enemy and hold the button. What was that? Oh, I see. Oh, that was kind of a, that was kind of a bum fight. Oh well, that's a wrap. It wasn't all bad. There we go. He's rich. Okay. I think we'll do one more quest and I will, I will wrap it up because this is pretty much a, what you see is what you get game. Um, I wish it had, Oh shit, that's a lot of different stuff. We've arrived. Nice place, dead, deserted, but otherwise nice. Plan, Sylvie? Search this area through and then leave. We need to stay on the move. Let's take on an elite monster. A monstrous champion. Collapse like many monstrosities free to roam the land. This is one of them. 
So yes, we'll kill a big boy, and that'll be the end. Killing a big boss is a good way to end the video. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, he said something, and I missed it. Yay, we got gold. And there's a bunch. So yeah, that's pretty much the game is just be smart and uh I like I said, I'm not I'm not its target audience because I'm not a big mobile guy, but I mean it's engaging enough. So that was Bonfire. <clears throat> Let's look at the TLDW. One, there needs to be a stop before the story starts. My advice would be maybe a title screen, maybe an options menu, a difficulty choice, something, something, so that there's um, so that the game just doesn't immediately start because that is really jarring. Uh, two, the um, let me see, what was it? There was the options. And then there was just the fact that it was a mobile game. I think that was pretty much it. Was just was just put a pause before the game starts because that is really jarring. Other than that, I don't really have that many complaints about this game. It's not really for me, but for a mobile game, it's it's got depth, much more depth than usual. So I mean, I I can't complain there. I just wish it was available for the um, for Android. I'd pick it up if it was on sale because I'm a cheap ass. Anyway. I'd like, to, I'd like to thank the developers for letting me bitch about their game. I have been blind Ryan. Oh, right, right, right. That's what it was. Um, there needs to be a uh, sound and music slider so that you can adjust the volume kind of fine-tune. Other than that, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I have been blind Ryan. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you all next time.